Hello mga ka-friendship! This is Mary from Marimar TV and um, I'm gonna be talking about wedding requirements here in the Philippines, specifically in Cebu. Stay tuned! So before anything else guys, please give this a thumbs up and like our videos, click to subscribe and click the bell button below for for updates and notifications or on our weekly uploads. Thank you! Before I discuss the requirements for um, getting a marriage license here in the Philippines, um, I would like to give you a tip. Um, this is what I I did on my on my requirements journey before I get, I got married. So I made a um, requirements list. So for for church and for the license from the government. So I had all the list here. What I need from me and from for my husband also. So yun. Then nilagay ko yung fees and then also yung status if processing ba siya or done na ba siya para and then also I have a clear book para ma-organize ko yung yung mga files kasi burara ko ba guys grabe kay ko kaburara so our first requirement is um, birth certificate for the couple so um, one photocopy of uh, one original copy of your birth certificates of your fiance and yourself and then also two photocopies um, needed so guys advice is do a lot of photocopies para para hindi kayo ma aksaya ng oras dun sa like PSA or saan ba yung office then maghanap pa kayo ng mga mga photocopy stores guys so photocopy na agad be ready be a girl scout so um you can get your birth certificates on uh, your local PSA's office so dito sa Cebu meron tayo sa Gaisano Gaisano Colon mo ba to ba no? Colon no? I ano ko na lang yung link link sa location ng PSA dito sa Cebu. And then, second is Senomar. So, yung sa Senomar, um, you also uh, get it from the PSA. And then, I think it would take like 24 hours after the request to get the Senomar. And then, you have to keep the receipt. Yun yung PCT. yun yung experience namin na wala yung receipt so nakuha na naman kami then it it causes us 465 pesos each kasi nawala ko yung resibo and then need na need na resibo yung 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 sa requirements so dapat dapat yung senumar is nakuha mo siya like months before before you apply for a marriage license so yun uh, one original copy for for each and then two photocopies or more para ready ka na lang guys barangay certificate of marriage so yung sa mandawe yung sa Cebu um kunin namin yung barangay certificate sa so, if you're a resident of that city or municipality, so for example, yung Kang Jemmar, um, resident siya sa, sa, Man sa Mandawi, siya lang yung nag nagkuha ng certificate sa barang. Uh, it costs us like around 500, so gastos na naman besh. So, pag you have to think about your marriage or your, your wedding or your, you know, like, is this you gonna be here? So, you also need like, you need photocopies also. Yung cedula. So, same for cedula. Um, they only need it. They only need it for the resi the one who, who is residing in that city. So, for example, for for Jamar, um, he's, he's from Mandawi. I'm from Cebu City. So, got my cedula also just to be safe. Is advice upon intended marriage. So, um, when you apply for your marriage license, you you have to bring your your parents. 
both parents. So this is for age 21 to 25. So I'm only 24. So I need I need my my papa. If your parents um have passed away, um you need also their death certificate. So like like mine, um, my my mom already passed away. So uh, the death certificate with photocopies. So yeah, and then they also need their uh, valid IDs when going to the to the here where you want uh, where will you apply for the marriage license so yeah and then, yes. and then so next is the 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 applicants should also have the um, certificate of attendance that you join the city health seminar so this seminar this seminar it comprise a uh, seminar is about parenthood family planning something like that so how to use this and that you know so so the the seminar is like like one one to two hours you have to bring also your one by one picture just in case they need it in my requirements here i think it's needed and then also bring valid IDs and then um, you get uh, when you arrive in the in the government office um, they they hand you out a, a form and then you just have to fill it out and then make sure that your your files are complete and then are arranged and then the, the officer there or the worker the government worker will also help. I want to share with you guys that uh, uh, marriage is not an easy thing. It would take how many like how many days to to schedule it to get all of the requirements. If you have like someone who can who can um, get you the requirements for yourself, good guys. Like you can just give like an authorization letter that, that for example they have to get the, your senomar your birth certificate in the PSA you can just give an authorization letter that they can claim it and then also if but for the marriage license you have to uh, you have to be present on you have to be pre both of you has to be present in the office and if ever you're under if you're from 18 to 20 um you need your father must have uh, must sign something in the office so they have to go there and then if like for me 21 to 25 uh, it must be signed by the parents so my mom already passed away so my father's the one who, who just signed the form there and then um, bonus for if you're marrying a foreigner um, the requirements are you have to be uh, legal capacity must be issued here in the Philippines from their respective embassy divorce decree if you are divorced and then birth certificate or passport and senomar so yung marriage license guys is mag expire yan like Three months, so three months lang yung validity niya. So ito yung sample na ng form and marriage license namin. So ito yung sinabmit namin sa ito yung sinabmit namin sa sa church. So yun. So if you want, guys, um, I could also put the uh make a video about uh, church requirements. A Catholic Church requirements and do's and don'ts. So before you go to your parish, you know na if like ano na mga bawal. If you're going to the parish, na you know ano you know na kung ano yung mga requirements, yung mga bawal, yung ano ano pwede sa kasal, ganyan ganyan. So yun lang guys. So um. Yung, yung marriage license namin. So, yan. So, nag-register nag kami November 19. November 2019. Then, expire March 10, 2020. Yung, yung kasal namin is December 18. So, so much for watching this video. I hope this would help you on your um, 
wedding journey, your marriage, uh, preparation about the wedding, and um, technical stuff about the mar- um, wedding wedding requirements. So, um, I know this is gonna be like hard, like you're gonna complain, like why this and that, there's so many, because life is not easy then, so, so, easy lang to guys, pagkuha ng mga requirements, pero yung, yung sa, pagkakasal at you know like marriage itself it's difficult it's nothing compared to this getting all the stuffs so so guys you have to think about your future and you have to think about marriage and it's not gonna be like, very easy like the ones that you saw in the, on the internet with the artista so yeah, so thank you guys for watching my video. Um, don't forget to serve. Don't forget to to give me a thumbs up. Um, comment down below your your questions or or suggestions, violent reactions. So this has been Mary of Marimar TV, and I'm signing off. See you on the next video. Bye bye.